Bye, honey. Did you have a good time? Well, it was okay. That's all? Just okay? Yeah, you know. I thought, wow, a high school boy. But Warren's just the same as the boys in my junior high class, except he shaves once a month. So maybe you ought to catch him on the nights he shaves. <laughs> well, he did put on some smelly after shave lotion. At first, I thought it was a pepperoni pizza he ordered. <laughs> anyway, I was going to invite him to the school carnival Friday night. Well, what made you change your mind? Well, he's not all that great, and I don't see any sense in getting Greg all upset. Marsha? Just a minute. Well, as soon as you're finished, I want to talk to you. Good. I want to talk to you, too. I've decided... I that... don't care what you've decided. You better not go out with Warren Mullaney again. But, Greg, no I No buts can't... about it. You better not go out with him. I'm telling you once and for all, okay? Since when did you become my boss? You heard me, Marsha. Don't go out with him. And what if I do? Well, then, Miss Benedict Arnold, you'll find out what. Thought about what I said last night? Did you hear me? I heard you. Well, what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna ask Warren to go to the school carnival with me. You're gonna what? I wasn't going to until you opened your big mouth. Now I am. Marsha, you better not. Not only that, I'm gonna ask Warren to come home from school today with me and help me with my homework. Marsha, you're really asking for trouble. And just who's going to give it to me? You're looking at him. Oh, I'm so scared. What is this, a shouting match? Greg thinks he's my boss. He thinks he can tell me who I can go out with and who I can't. Did you say that, Greg? That's exactly what he said. If I go out with Warren or if I ask him to come over this afternoon, he'd make trouble for me. Uh, Marsha, I, I think you're going to be late for school, honey. Come on. I guess I better get going, too. I think you have a little time left. Sit down. You didn't answer my question. Yes, sir, I said that. Listen, Greg, it's not for you to tell Marsha who to go out with. Mom, can you imagine how I felt when I saw that guy? My worst enemy right here in my own home. Look, this is Marsha's home, too. And as long as your mother and I approve, she can invite anyone over that she wants to. Is that clear? Yes, sir. OK. Does that go for the rest of us, too? Sure it does. There aren't any special rules just for Marcia. Great. Now, what was that turnaround all about? What's so great? I don't know. And I'm not sure I want to find out.